Hey guys, is your kitchen not smelling too fresh these days? That could be your sink. Today on Captain Housekeeper, I'm going to give you my tips and tricks on how to freshen up your garbage disposal, so stay tuned. The other day on my live show, Captain Trevor asked for some tips and tricks on uh, freshening up his garbage disposal. If you want to know when I'm live, you can uh, subscribe to the Captain Housekeeper uh, YouTube channel and hit that little notification bell that's right next to the word subscribe. That way you'll get a little ping to your device when I go live. Now here are some highlights from my live show with some tips and tricks on freshening your disposal. So anyway, um, I did get a question come in that I wanted to answer. Captain Trevor. Hi, Captain Trevor. See, Captain Housekeepers are often men too, because you never know when you're going to end up in charge of the house. <laughs> so many different things can happen that, you know, it ends up you're in charge, no matter who you are. So, Captain Trevor, welcome. I hope you've been watching the show all along. I don't know if you're here. I don't see your name, but if you're here, chime in. But Captain Trevor wants to know how uh, some tips on stinky garbage disposals. And that is a problem. Stinky garbage disposals are a problem. So yeah, I have a few ideas. I have a few tips that I do at my house when you know my disposal starts to stink a little bit. And if you think about it, the problem is there's little bits of food that are in the, the blades of the disposal or, or in other nooks and crannies down there that have gotten lodged in there and they've started to rot. That's what the smell is, it's rotting. So the first thing you need to do is you need to clean everything really well. And one thing you can do is, you know, the blades are all, you know, don't put your fingers in there, please. <laughs> please don't put your fingers in the disposal unless you absolutely have to, but then don't do it. Um, so make sure it's turned off. But one thing you can do is you can take vinegar and you can freeze it in ice cubes, ice cube trays, and you can put those down the disposal and then run the disposal with cold water as it's running. And the ice cubes with the vinegar will clean up the blades really well. And also the ice cubes will um, help sharpen the blades too, from what I've heard. Another way, if you don't wanna freeze vinegar, is you can put like two cups of ice cubes down the disposal and a cup of just table salt or rock salt, whatever salt you have. Uh, and then running uh, water, run the disposal for about five minutes also. And that'll clean the blades up really well. And also it'll sharpen them too. So that's another thing. You know what I learned when I was a waiter back in the day, right after college, because I went to art school, so I was a starving artist. <laughs> Not a lot of jobs out there for painters. So I was, a, I was a waiter at a casino on the graveyard shift of all things. It was horrible, but I was young, so it didn't matter. Anyway, I learned how to clean um, the glass coffee pots, you know, that waiters and waitresses use. And what you do is you put a bunch of salt in the bottom and you fill it with ice and put some water and you swish it around. And you know, and the, uh, the ice and the, the salt clean the, the glass of the coffee pot really, really well. So there's a tip if you have a dirty coffee pot, you can do that too. But this also applies to disposals. You can do the salt and ice down there and get the blades cleaned. Now, one of the things you wanna keep in mind is I discovered with my disposal far later than I should have is I did these things to clean it and it still wasn't fresh. So that rubber gasket that goes on the disposal in the sink, you know, that keeps debris from flying out, mine actually pops out. And the first time I popped out, it was so disgusting because there was so much food caught up into that rubber gasket because it kind of, um, it was like pleated. It wasn't flat, it was pleated to help keep things from flying out. So things had gotten into those pleats. So I scrubbed that really well and what I like to use for that is, there's this soap, I think it's called Brahmers, it's a liquid soap and it's covered with all this crazy writing because I think the people that uh, invented are, you know, insane a little bit. So it's got all these crazy writings all over it, but it's a natural soap and I like to get the eucalyptus because the eucalyptus is a natural antibacterial and it also freshens things. So I use that to scrub it really well to get that rubber clean, because rubber's porous, so I'm always afraid it's not clean. So I use that and that works really well. 
Now, I've heard some people say that they put a little bit of bleach down the disposal. Now, if you're going to do that, and I know there's some people that are really, really passionate about bleaching things, and I support that if, if that's you, uh, but you'll want to dilute the bleach. You take a, like a four cup Pyrex dish and put a little bit of bleach and dilute it and then run that down the disposal. And the reason why is bleach actually can cause grease to harden. So if it's full strength bleach and it comes in contact with any grease that's in your disposal, it'll harden it. It doesn't make sense, I know, but that's just the chemical reaction. So if you want to use bleach, a better option I think is borax, which is an all natural soap. And that will, the thing about the borax is you want to put it in, grind it for just a few seconds and then leave it for a couple hours. Cause because it's a natural cleaner, it doesn't have a very quick effect, but it works really, really well. So borax, if you want to go all natural. And then once it's clean, you want to freshen it. So once all those blades are clean, you want to freshen it up. The quickest and easiest way to freshen it, I found, is to put lemon peels or orange peels and grind those really, really well. It just freshens it. I mean, it just makes the whole kitchen smell fresh. So that's really nice. If you don't want a lemony smell or you don't have that available, you can put like a half a cup of baking soda and a cup of white vinegar and that'll all bubble up. And after it bubbles for a while, then run really hot water or boiling water, run your disposal, and that will freshen it too. <sighs> so those are my ideas about freshening. Thank you, Captain Trevor, for such a great question. This is something I deal with every single day is keeping the kitchen sink fresh. So I hope that you um, can use those tips, Captain Trevor, and leave more comments if you want. Hey, and a special thanks to Captain Trevor for such a great question. If you'd like to ask me a question, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. You never know, I might choose your question to answer on a future show. And remember, my live show is Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Central in the USA. I'd love to see you there. Please like and share this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.